Can we just talk about something for a minute? Remember when I said I got my hair cut, couldn't get my curling iron around it? I had to get out the baby curling iron today. Look. See those tiny curls? I feel like a grandma sitting in a beauty salon chair. You know, the ones that get their hair done once a week. Remember Pinky Tuscadero from Happy Days? Insert picture. I have Pinky Tuscadero hair. Lucky me, it's just hair. It'll grow, I know. But when you can be Fonzie's girlfriend, why not? I don't know if you guys can see this, but look how shiny this floor is. Let me show you what I used. I've had this, maybe I'll do a video on how I do this because there's spots I didn't do, but I used this. All right. And it, I used to use it a long time ago and it stays on the floor for, oh, months. And it's easy to clean, it's not slippery, and it just looks nice. Rejuvenate. It's real easy to put down. You just wash the floor really good and then let it dry and then put this stuff down and it dries in about 20 minutes and it's good to go for quite a while. Now I'll show you a spot that I didn't do. Alright, let's see if you could see it. See the difference there? See the line? Let me turn this way. But I didn't, I rolled up the rugs a little bit. Oh, probably better this way. I rolled up the rugs and I, I just did up to the rug. But you could see the difference. That's where I didn't do it, and that's where I did do it. But eventually, I'll move the couch and get under there. But this really works great on hardwood floors. It makes them look new again. So, I'm happy with it. Now, I don't know if you could read this, use this stuff on laminate flooring. Because in the kitchen... I have laminate flooring. I don't know if it'll work on there and quite frankly I haven't read the bottle yet because the words are so stinking small you can't see them. I'll read the bottle and see if you could do it on laminate flooring but I don't know these floors are so new I don't know if I would want to do that. In other news I have this spider plant that I've been trying to grow. It's been in this pot about a year. I don't know something about these pot, metal pots I can't get anything ever to grow in those. But my cat, kitten, found the spider plant. I put the spider plant in the sink to water it really good and let it drain. Kitten found the spider plant in the sink and I caught the kitten eating the spider plant. Which now I have been cleaning up spider plant puke all over the house. Not real impressed with that. So. I hope the kitten's going to be, I should Google, I should Google that to see if spider plants are poisonous because my cat's been eating them. I am speaking about you. You. Stay out of my spider plants. You hear me? I Googled the spider plant thing. The spider plant thing with my cat and they're not poisonous. They are not poisonous to cats. So it says. I don't know, but it says it could cause a potential risk. Well, the risk is her puking up all over my new carpet, my new rugs. The risk is to me, not the cat. I believe that the cat has gotten rid of all of the spider plant that the cat has eaten. Lucky me. I also got a new little sign for my kitchen. When I was playing the organ and piano in church, that that's my favorite song. This is my favorite song to play. I love this song. I don't know if you've ever heard it or not. I absolutely love that song. All right, my closet journey. Look at this. It's coming along. I've got clothes organized by color and I got, I don't, that's the way I like to do it. I don't know about you guys, but all like short sleeve stuff. And then I've got reds and pinks and blues and blacks and all my pants down there. I don't know about you, but that's the way I like to work. It's just easier to find things. When you have stuff in color, it's, it's easier to find stuff. So we've been doing that. And I've got my sewing table set up. I do, I've got a sewing machine. I can sew, I can sew, believe it or not, I can sew. And I have a Cricut too. I'm gonna put my Cricut up there. So the closet's finally coming together. 
my husband's bedroom's coming together. And I bought shoe racks down there. Mm, can you see them? I got shoe racks down there. I got those from Amazon. And yes, I have two carpet cleaners. I do. I do have two carpet cleaners. And that sweeper is going in the attic because I have another one. Whenever the other one breaks, I'll get that one down. Why do I have two carpet cleaners, you ask? Because one broke. The carpet part, where you clean the carpet part, it, it broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. I didn't, didn't want to deal with it. So I bought another one that just does the carpet. And then that other one I have, the bigger one, it just does the furniture. But it doesn't spray. I found that out. I should just get rid of that thing or take it somewhere. I don't know. But you know what? L listen to how I cleaned the, car the my couch this year. It was summer. So I got the garden hose. I did. I brought the garden hose in the house. The carpet cleaner out. I sprayed it with soap. I put it on the light mist with the garden hose and I sprayed my couch with the garden hose and then sucked it up. That's how I cleaned my furniture this year. My husband came in and says, what are you doing? What's it look like? I'm cleaning the furniture. I also have my neighbor's baby shower present. I don't think she watches my videos, but she's expecting her and her husband are expecting a baby. And look at house fire wipes. I don't, did you see my video where we went to Walmart? I freaking bought pacifier wipes. When my kids were little, the, the, the pacifier drops on the floor. You pick it up, stick it in your mouth, wash it off in your mouth, give it back to the baby. You know what? By the time you have three kids, four kids, five kids, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. It's clean. It's clean. I also bought her boogie wipes. Boogie wipes. What's wrong with a Kleenex? A box of Kleenex is a lot cheaper than buying the boogie wipes. All this stuff, these, they have for babies now. New moms, brand new moms that have never had a baby think they need all this stuff. You don't need all this stuff. You really don't. Get the Kleenexes, you're fine. Pass fire, stick it in your mouth, you know. Your baby's gonna live. I don't know. I, have a, I had a daughter that would sit in the front yard and eat dirt. She lived. Well, it seems my camera lens was dirty. Wonder what this is gonna look like in the edit. My husband's coming home from work soon and we have to go to Walmart. <laughs> and um, tomorrow is my nephew's 12th birthday and we are going to the bowling alley. So I'm gonna buy some pop and stuff for the kids at the for going to the bowling alley. They said we could take stuff in. We're doing a party there, so. We're going to go to Walmart in Five Guys. So if I feel like it, if I'm in the mood, maybe I'll vlog that. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But look for a 12th birthday party video.